Hello and welcome to Let's Build Lothaloria, episode 12. We're hanging out in the marketplace right now. I uh, just got done having a couple drinks in the tavern. Because that's how I roll. So, I read your guys' suggestions on the Siege Workshop. And before I show, you know, I really appreciate you guys uh, giving me some feedback and your ideas were wonderful. And I implemented... 90% of them. So I kind of cut the the top part of the workshop off and reworked the roofing completely. Added a side uh, yard to actually store your furnished creations. And then also a large crane. So we'll go ahead and walk down here. The crane is fairly visible. It kind of works. I'm still kind of working on that. But the we can hold up to three of these large catapults in the yard. Um, really though, I should make these smaller. I mean, they don't need to be that big to be effective. In fact, they're a little too bulky. I can't even get them out the door of the uh, castle. That's a problem, so I just need to work on a catapult. I didn't design these to fit on the roads here. So. There's going to be, this is kind of the rest area where people kind of, it's a break room essentially. You'll be able to have some food here to store and eat. If you come into the actual siege workshop, it's much more open uh, because there's no roof. Um, all the clutter is still here. It looks very nice. You know, um, figured out some, I watched some YouTube videos on some people and there's some secret blocks you can get actually such as this. This is actually the center cut out of the lock catch block. And the way you get that is by copying and pasting the lock catch block, but instead of just control C and V, it's control shift C. And that'll actually copy the the part that you're looking at. So you can copy the center out of these. You can also copy uh, the rope out of the um, what is this tension spring I believe yeah see and it kind of copies whatever part you're looking at so it's a pretty cool feature and you can actually kind of spin this around real quick and lock it and I saw uh, I saw I'm using this as like a rope fence you know which is a pretty cool idea heck you can almost put this on a, a boat looking structure and make rigging for sales. Just an idea I'm tossing out. So over here again more clutter and then the roofing it's all windmill blades and woodwork to bring it into a nice low profile. I'm trying to keep it nice and clean. Uh, woodwork along the side of the building. I might wrap that around to all the sides. Not 100% sure on that yet and then the yard where we're storing these and the crane. Now the crane you know I wanted to have this actually turn and you can rotate the crane at different angles. It was working when I first started it. So there's some kinks. I need to work on that. This does spin which would lower and raise the weight and attachment point but the way these gears connect it doesn't work so I had to attach one of these and I'll go ahead and make the weight because I think the weight kinda looks pretty cool so you just need two weights attached together like so need the top attachment point a bottom attachment point and then I also throw in these side ones and the reason for this is so that I can have a basically have this act like a center point and have like four points on the actual construction itself hook up into this that way I don't need multiple crane heads and this way it can it can act um, pulling up all sides at once from one single point which is what we want go ahead and put that on there now the the way the spindles work it doesn't actually just create rope and shorten rope 
it, it only works with as much rope as you originally give it. So I'm going to go ahead and give it a whole bunch of rope to work with. That way we are for certain to have plenty of slack when we need it and it should work fairly nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of slowly wind this up so it doesn't break anything by colliding with it. Go ahead and show you guys. Uh, I can use this to like lift up the cart from last episode. You can lift it up fairly easily. You just have to make sure your construction that you're wanting to lift is centered on this point. So that's probably the hard part. And you can you can push the crane and realign it to kind of the center of the workshop. And it is kind of a heavier structure, so it does you know turn fairly slowly. You can get pretty accurate with it. I'll go ahead and not switch camera angles. It's not what I want at all. Uh, I need to open up the menu here. Copy this cart. This cart is probably too big as well for the town. We need kind of a thinner profile one, but it's going to work as our test. So you can see it's a little forward. So we'll go ahead and push that back just a little bit. We'll try and line this up as well as possible. It's very key to get this right. Like so. Okay. We'll just release all the slack and the weight. Bring it to a resting point over the cart. So, and then we can also attach temporary loops and kind of line it up center with the weight. If you didn't line the object up center, you can actually just line these up. I think that'll work. I haven't tested it, but in theory, I don't see why it wouldn't. So you want to try and grab the loops closest to the ones on each side. It will help with stability. And you should be able to just pick this up. Now the weight's gonna freak out, but that's just physics working, or not working, I guess. But as you can see, you can lift that up fairly high. It bobbles, yes, but you could definitely do some undercarriage work while it's in the air. And that's the whole point of the crane. And if you actually lower the point of the weight to like say here, you can actually lift it high enough and instead of like driving it around to the side, you could probably just push the crane left and right and actually bring it over the building. It uh, would be a quick way to put an item into storage and take it out of storage maybe and even work on it from there. So we'll go ahead and just lower this back down. So yeah, that, that physics thing, is, it's a common uh, situation, but it's fairly, I mean, it works. And that's what I want. And it looks fairly nice. And so that's a bonus as well. And you can just keep that up at the top. It'll have some slight sway to it, but that's okay. I'm going to have to get rid of this. So that's this new Siege Workshop. I'm very happy with it now. Um, you guys can let me know what things you like about it, just like about the new design, you know. This is kind of a building you guys basically told me to do. And I want to keep it like that. So if you see something that you might want to see added, let me know. I might consider it and throw it in there. Now, what we're going to be building on this episode is probably one of these. And this is the beginning of the slum area. And all of these houses are just jammed together. So like when you look at ruins of like say ancient Egypt or uh, some Rome, early Rome and uh, Greek, you, you'll find a lot of these cities, I mean like it's just wall to wall buildings compressed together and the ruins kind of look like this now. 
after they've been ex excavated. So, I think once I start adding some roofs and some different heights through them, it'll pop up pretty nice and just kind of spread out along this whole bottom of the valley. Now, the road down here is temporary, um, but it will wrap up to the mine, which I have started um, laying out a little bit. And then also it'll wrap around to the uh, crafting district. I'm probably, for the siege engines, going to have to make a separate exit. If I want to keep making very large objects like this, I might have to make a separate road and maybe a tunnel just that takes you straight out. And that might be the best way to handle siege equipment. Um, I'm just laying out some future plans and episodes at the moment because I doubt building a couple of those will take very long. Out here, there's going to be a fairly large guard tower. Same with over here. It'll have a fairly large guard tower as well. And then after we finish the slums, we're going to go back and, and touch up on the castle and palace. So, after this guard tower, there will actually be a large defensive structure here for protecting the palace from siege. Um, you know, you don't want them to just be able to break over this wall and scale a little mountain, and then they got your palace. They don't even have to go through the city. So you want to make this spot very defendable and deter them from coming this way. You, you want them to go through the main gate and fight through all the levels. Um, that's the point. At least for this kind of layout. So, we'll go ahead and... And I think the large houses that are going here, I'm going to kind of do those last. Uh, just so many houses that I've built, I think I need a break from houses. At least, at least that big and complicated. I mean, all of them are going to be like about the size of the tavern. Maybe a little smaller. Tavern is pretty big, so so we're going to go ahead and test some of these out. Now they're going to be dirt floor with wooden walls, and some of them maybe just a roof. You know, like this one, I could probably throw up. Come on. Throw up right there. Like that. And the same on that side and actually just throw a thatched roof on it. And these guys have next to nothing. Like that. I mean. Yeah. I mean, this would be a hut. You know, that's what they got. Maybe, I wonder if I can angle this to fit a little nicer. No. No. Guess not. But yeah, so you, so you, you can throw that in there, and then this one might have some wall-like structure on it. that and then we can even throw windmill blades no not windmill blades this on there, like so. Like that. Don't know if any of this is really looking that great. I think it's one of those things where I'm just going to have to tough it out and build and finish it and see it all together. Because by itself, I mean, they look kind of crappy little places. But I suppose that's the point. I mean, they're not 
supposed to be good looking in a sense. But they're just supposed to have many layers and and buildings maybe stacking on top of each other. You can have a wooden staircase going up to this one. It could have a loft, you know? Maybe not that one. Like this one could have like a loft going up into it. It could have, you know, just buildings on top of buildings on top of buildings and you just create this dynamic thing. Um, I'm probably going to start doing that off camera. Um, I, I've been working a lot recently, so I don't think I have time at the moment. But I'll definitely have another video out tomorrow. And we'll probably be building in this area and finishing it up. And, yeah, I think that'll be it for this video. Uh, sorry it's a little shorter than normal, but it's just, you know, real life gets in the way sometimes. Alright? Alright. Thank you guys.